my video is just a quick rant about pretty much about my mom at her job she works with these two women right and she gives them money and they make way more money than her and yet she gives them money like almost every day for like she's been doing that for like four or five years now how are you gonna give money to these two women when they make more money than her and they treat her like dirt they call her like stupid and they stole the gloves off of her hand and they'll just keep asking keep asking her for money and she'll just keep giving them money and they're like they have ten dollar buffets at her job and she'll buy them ten dollar buffets like almost every day like if someone traded me man I would not be buying them nothing right like if someone treated you bad would you buy them anything no that's cray cray sorry my hair's all freezing but go down <laughs> um now i'm sick and i have a cold of course and but i feel like she should help <laughs> There's the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> but I feel like she should help me, not them. Like, I'm her daughter. Like, I'm her only family member that she has. She has no man, no other kids, just me. I'm not going to have no kids, no way. But if I did, like, I'd be, I'd be wanting to help the kid, not two people that treat me like dirt. But she says the reason why she gives them money and food, and she also give one of them a ride home a lot. But the reason why is, she says, they have been working there, like, way longer than my mom. Like, one of them has been working there for, like, 12 years longer than my mom and the other lady's been working there like 15 years longer so they probably get paid like way more than my mom that's just ain't that like that's just so mind-blowingly messed up like she's given them over four thousand dollars like she i don't know exactly how much but she's given them like a lot of money Probably more money than she's ever given me. Ain't that twisted? That's a crazy. But <laughs> yeah, my tongue was probably gross. I'm so gross. I just took Nyquil, so I'm really sleepy. And I don't know. I just feel like. My mom doesn't really give a damn about me. And I'll be like, Mom, when can you send me some money? Because she knows I make way less money than her. And she gives them more money. Like, what the fuck? And my dad does the same thing. He gives all his money to his wife and their two kids. And he doesn't, like, give me nothing. That's like, what? That's crazy. So now I have to like try to survive on my own with, I, I live with my boyfriend and if it weren't for him, like I don't know how I would be able to survive without my boyfriend. Because rent and bills is like a lot of money. Like, like could you just imagine if someone just dumps you off on the street or close to it with like nothing? Hardly, like, it's just crazy that my parents, they never really thought about my future or nothing. They, like, they're just, like, this is the vibe I get from my parents is, like, welcome to the real world. He, 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 he. 
Good luck trying to survive. That's the vibe I get from my parents. Like, they act like it's so... Like, they could be so nonchalant with, like, not helping me. Like, what the fuck? Like, I did not ask to be born. See what it was, my parents, when they first, like, had me. They didn't know what they were doing, and they were, like, really young. They were, like, in their early 20s. They were either in their late teens or early 20s. Because I remember my mom was 18 when she left home, and then she went to the military, and she was in the military for three years, and she had me while she was in the military. So she was probably, like, in her early 20s. And my parents, they hate each other. Like, neither one of them want me to talk about the other one at all. They're like, I don't want to talk about them. And I think I remind each of them of, you know, each other. And they don't want to be reminded of each other. So it's like, oh, Rachel, <laughs> you're fucked. Good luck trying to survive. <laughs> it's like, that's crazy. But that's just my little rant for now. And I think, oh, there's like so many things I can rant about. <sighs> but I gotta like ask God to help me get through this. And I have to like try to somehow get over it, even though my whole life is freaking destroyed. And I'll probably be working at Walmart for the rest of my life with my soul being sucked away until my soul is just a tiny little dust particle floating in the air. But somehow I gotta try to move on with my life, somehow. But I'm like getting sleepy so I gotta go now, so. Thank you for watching. I'll rant some more soon. Isn't the towel just so wonderful? It's so great. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> yeah. And I think the reason why my parents are so mean to me and the reason why millions of people are being well why millions of people feel like there's something not right with this world because these reptilians are running this world and they control the banking industry and our schools and they control the money like the military and they control the religions of the world. Ooh. And I feel like they, these reptilians are definitely the main reason why our world seems like a pretty awful place to live in. I think the world is a terrible place to live in and this is not a place to bring people into the world that don't, if you don't have any money, like why would you bring a person into this world? Just because you feel like, oh, my mom had me, so let me have one too, even though I have no money, like, you gotta have some money if you have a kid. And these reptilians, they have it rigged to where you're pretty much fucked no matter what you do. Even if you go to Hollywood, like the Illuminati, hello, I think the reptilians control the Illuminati. The reptilians are on the top of the Illuminati. And they control a lot of this world. And it's just sick and twisted how these reptilians... They take and they eat people. They eat kids. And there's like eight, about 800,000. According to Mo Othman, he says that somewhere around 800,000 people get kidnapped. I don't know if it's every 
only in America or all over the world, I can't remember. But a lot of people get kidnapped and are probably eaten alive by these reptilians. This is so freaking mind-blowingly messed up and crazy. I could definitely see why my parents are mean. These things are controlling this world and somehow I'm supposed to be like the the good guy voice trying to like help you and help myself at the same time because we're all in this together. Like I've even seen myself shape shift in one of my videos where I paused it where it's a blue screen but I'm like the good kind I'm not the bad kind I don't want any bad things to happen to people I want people in the world I want things to thrive on the earth and I, I don't want the I don't want to see the world destroy you know and I think these reptilians I don't think they really give a damn about this planet and they are willing to destroy their own kind and destroy this whole world just because of their own pleasure and their own gain and their own selfishness just because they think it's funny to tease and taunt and eat people just because they think it's something I don't know I guess they, they eat the souls they try to eat the souls of the kids to feast on their energy so they can get a high from it that is really messed up that they want they just want to get high off of little kids blood that's crazy and drink their blood and shit kitty kitty is worried about my well-being so i should probably get off of here but i just wanted to let you know i think i'm i am 100 and uh, 100 million percent sure that these reptilians are the reason why most of our lives suck ass yeah most of us have to work jobs we don't like because these demons are controlling the world and maybe somehow one day we can stop them and I think that's <laughs> sorry I tried to pick my nose and I think that's <laughs> these these video games even though I like playing Terra and Elder Scrolls Online and scary movies and stuff I think this stuff is preparing our minds for maybe possibly for an invasion of these reptilians maybe one day either the hologram fake invasion or the or real invasion of them they might be growing these things underground in tubes like test tubes and they might bring them up above ground to like eat people because i watched some other youtube videos and they were talking about that the only reason the reptilians don't come out of the ground you know kind of like tinge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the main reason why they don't come out of the ground is because we have to feed them our kids. Like, how twisted is that? That is so ridiculously twisted. Like, I would not want to feed my kid to a demon reptilian. These things are from another dimension. And they don't care about people. I'm talking about the ones that eat people. Like, I'm part reptilian, but only, like, partially. I'm still a good guy. I'm not, like, I don't want to eat people. And I don't want to cause no chaos or destruction or anything. I'm all about peace and, like, love and stuff. And, yes, I read that book right there, Children in the Matrix. That's a good book by David Icke. So I seen a lady one time and she had slitted pupils just like a reptilian or cat eyes. But I gotta get off here and I gotta I gotta eat some food and I gotta go to sleep and I'm sick, I have a cold, and I have to go to work at Walmart so I can work there the rest of my life and only have a tiny little crumb of money, just enough to barely be able to survive. Isn't that just awesome? That's so freaking great, man. I'm so excited to work at Walmart. So I can give them my soul. It's just great. But, okay. Ooh, that thing is scary. Yep, Kurt Mutua talked about that alien right there with the third eye. 
Some of them, they'll look at you and you can instantly die. I can definitely see how they want to control the world because they're supposedly really smart and have a lot of telepathic powers. But I gotta go. For reals this time, I guess to go. I guess to eat some food before I die over here. So you will see me in another video soon. So smash that like and subscribe button. <laughs> And maybe one day I'll get over a thousand subscribers. Yeah, when I'm like 80 years old. Nah, that would be so sad. But I love you. Bye. Mwah.